Here in Monte Carlo, the businessman has bluffed the pros. Oh, oh that's so sick. <laughs> Ali Reza is absolutely fantastic. He was really at the heart of everything that went on. Can I shake your hand? That's amazing. Woo. I enjoy more when I win with nothing. It's more fun for me. Ali, we're trying to take out everyone. He's raising a lot, he's bluffing a lot. And Alex was getting in the mix too. Give it friendly, I'll show. I'll show it in 50 fold. It's a bluff. Oh! <laughs> Just in case you weren't clear, Jake, that is a bluff. The Brits have bantered. Well, Sam Grafton's at the table, so that always helps to let the banter fester, if you will. They're going to be able to see your cards at home, you know that, Jake. <laughs> you can't bluff the nation. Literally, no mercy. You can be his grand, he would still free bet you relentlessly. And the side action no. added some spice. Oh, I love this do seven game now. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> do seven. Oh, you made it. So sweet. Now, the clock is ticking for our challenger. With limited hands left to play, Alex Curry's chances of walking away with a profit are dwindling. My time is running out at the table. I really got to try and ship it in and hope for the best. He has to be in the profit or else he is done. He's going to play a lot more pots and try to splash around. Fingers crossed, everything crossed. Hopefully we can uh, walk away not losing all 12,000. The challenge is almost over. As we rejoin the action at the PokerStars Championship Cash Challenge, Jake Cody has a big decision. Kings, plus 10 will lose. So you have Jack? Yes. He's facing a sizable bet from Ali Reza Fatehi. And given Ali's reputation, Jake is considering calling with just a pair of fives. He's told me he's got Jacks. Like, but is he telling the truth? Jake's been in the tank now for more than four minutes. Joe, is he really thinking of calling here with a small pair? Seems crazy, I know, but Ali Reza plays nuttier than the paleo diet. It's a pretty good bet if you do have jacks. Good bet. Remember, we are sweating with Jake here. We don't actually know Ali Reza's hand. And he occasionally tells the truth, occasionally lies. It's really tough to tell. I'm just having nine nine, I should just fold. I really think this time Ali Rez has got it. It's really fun folding though. <laughs> you don't like to fold hand, huh? No. Okay, can't, call. Can't win if you fold. Let's call. Let's gamble. Ali Reza Fatehi is harder to read than infinite jest. Jake calls. Ali Reza tables jacks. I told you I have jacks. Why nobody believed me? I don't know. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. It was, it was too, too really? hard to believe. Huh? Sam, <laughs> nobody believe believed you. me. I'm wrong, man. Why? Oh. Such an honest guy. I asked him, you have kings, queen. You're honest with all your customers. Jacks. You know, and. Uh, I don't know. Uh, is it just stationed? Next stop, calling station, right outside Codyville. The Ali Reza Act works again. He didn't think that I show him jacks. Everything not jacks, because I told him I have jacks. So you have jacks? Yes. When he said he had jacks, I thought he was, like, lying, obviously. I feel pretty damn stupid now. <laughs> That's all he had. 
His speech play was something else. He had Jake absolutely befuddled. It's not possible, or it's possible. It's not impossible. It is possible. I really enjoyed that. I feel kind of stupid if you do have jacks. I mean, it sounded like he said the truth many times. Do you have a knife? Two knives. So if you knew that, you assume he was doing that again, but it's hard to say in the moment. Ali loves to talk, and he actually taught me into making a bad call. It's gamble. He got me, I guess. Got him. Well, Ali Reza took more than 6K off Jake in that hand, and he is now back in profit. Most of the other players are down, including our challenger, Alex Curry, who needs to get himself over 12 and a half grand in order to make any money. The reason most of the players are showing a loss has something to do with the mountain of chips in front of Sam Grafton. He's now up over 20K. So, Sam, things are going pretty well for you, huh? Yeah, things are going good for me, but the game's, the game's playing very loose now. We've got, like, Randy, is calling raises blinds. Yeah. <laughs> um, Alex is three betting. I mean, the game's playing kind of, everyone's a bit wide open, you know? And we've got a lot of chips in play now. Like, it's gonna be some big hands before the end of the night, I think. All right, well, let's get back up there. I'm gonna go with you this time. Oh, you gonna come up? <laughs> yep. We're making it 700, Maria's in the game. Can we get a chair? I just realized, because the game's opened up so much, maybe it's because you guys intuitively know that we have 30 hands left, so, Alex, this is your turn. Yeah. You want to show a profit from this game, Three right? hands left. It's going to be pop, pop, pop the whole way. Should we maybe go after Sam since he looks like the big winner yeah, so far? Uh, yeah, I wonder who's going to be paying me off. Well, maybe one of them. You just got to fire those rivers against me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, good luck, everybody. Thank 30 you. more hands. Thank you. Thanks. Should we have the straddle on for last foot? I will if Jamie does. Sure. So, blinds are 25.50, and the players have agreed to run a mandatory straddle for the last 30 hands. That means the under-the-gun player raises to 100 dark and gets to act last before the flop. OK, let me think. Now we've got a game. we got a game, boys. Oh, yeah, we got a game. <laughs> Randy with ace-10 suited. Randy! Raises to 280 euros. Alex has got ace-king. Pop. And the challenger re-raises. Oh, there we go. Maria's induced. I've got nothing to lose. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> That's true. We started star seven. This man. is the effect. Maria tells men to do stuff and they just do it. Maria. Like, that's oh a special. God. It's like a superpower she has. <laughs> Maria, what did you do? Who me? You don't look like someone who wants to fold. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry, I've got nothing to lose, you know. I know. I've got oh, I've got your stack to lose. Uh, or to win. Okay. To win. I like that. Anyone's game. 68% of the time, this is going to be Alex's game. Queen, Jack, six. They both flop gut shots. I check. Hot. Can't do that. Oh, 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 it, yeah, do it doesn't count. Yeah. He can yeah. still bet that, right? I'm sorry. Yeah. It's, not le it's not a legal bet. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I bet. 2,100. About that. There you go. Roughly pot. Oh, so you change your mind. You underbet it now. Oh. Oh. Basically pot. Big a, bet. Is that a tell? <laughs> that I guess a... you didn't know. Randy, that's a big bet. <laughs> <laughs> but it's smaller than what it was. It's a discount. Randy Fultz. Nice one, Alex. Seven deuce. Oh, at least don't collect another 300 for me. That's all I ask. <laughs> Do not collect 300. Just a few more hands like that, and Alex will be up, up, and away. Right now, he's still down nearly 3,400. He's going to be under the gun on this next hand, so he has straddled. Action's on Jake. King Jack. That's a raise to 300 euros. Jamie folds. Only Reza has king deuce of spades. I call. He's in from the button. Randy folds. <laughs> Sam with pocket threes in the bank. Come on then. I'm gonna Stop keep it. it. Keep it. I'm gonna keep it. Uh, 
Keep it friendly. Our call. Alex in as well with eight two suited. I feel like I'm never going to win this hand now. I've just called. You don't deserve to win. Whatever. <laughs> oh, whatever. You need a miracle. <laughs> Alex is going to need Mike and all of the mechanics. Four way to the flop. Well, Jake flops best. Top pair with the better kicker. Action check to Ali Reza. Six check, one check, two check, four. Bit. Ah, <laughs> from his new single. Four bit. 900 euros. Check one more time. One down, two down. One to go. Uh, except Jake's harder to take down than a Christmas tree. Oh, and change, please. Sure. Heads up to the turn. Which is... The deuce of hearts. Wow! Ali Reza improves to two pair, but Jake now has a flush draw and a straight draw. Plus, Jack's nines and tens are working for him. Joe, it's literally a flip. They are a dead heat. Ali Reza bets again, 1,200 euros. Jake calls. The river card. Is a queen, that's the straight for Jake. Ice cream and Jakey Jake. Five and a half K in the middle. It goes check, check. Mm. <laughs> How good can one guy run, Ali? I know. He ran you down. On a scale of one to smug, how do you think Jake Cody's feeling right now? Tag him, cash challenge. Nice hand, Jake. Thanks. PokerStars Championship Cash Challenge has been a day of mixed fortunes for Jake Cody. For the first like four hours, I was free betting like loads and just started saying like I had a good hand. I've got a very strong hand. Oh. <laughs> I, I had a very strong hand. I was just telling the truth most of the time. I had a strong hand. And then I ended up being a pink. We're gonna, we can get a t-shirt printed with that on it for you. But the fun turned to frustration. It's a bluff. Oh. When the amateurs up their game. So you have jacks? Yes. Why nobody believes me, I don't know. Now, it seems the run good might be returning. How good can one guy run, Ali? I know. He ran you down. For all the banter that goes on between me and Jake, he knows he's one of the absolute legends of UK poker. But, you know, I also like to see a bit of pain put on him. That's what all the best players do. Fake it till you make it. It's James Hartigan and Joe Stapleton calling the action here in Monte Carlo as we reach hand 126 of the cash challenge. Which starts with a straddle from Jamie. You're a straddle? Auto. <laughs> Auto straddle. <laughs> Everyone's straddling now. Yeah, we should got the straddle going. Thank you for paying attention, Randy. Yeah, Randy, wow. What is that, jack eight suited or something? Sorry to say again? Is that jack eight suited? You look this, like a jack eight suited. This time? You look no, like no, a no, better, suited. better, better. Not now, Randy. So Ali Reza has raised with Queen Jack. Ace nine in the small blind for Alex. Now a challenger calls. Jake folds. Jamie with eight deuce of diamonds. Feels priced in. Three way to the flop. Things are getting weird toward the end here. Interesting flop. Second pair for Alex. Gut shot for Jamie. Up and down draw for Ali Reza. Lovely spot for a continuation bet. Just over 1,300 in the middle. Ali Reza makes it 850 euros. Alex calls with the best hand. Jamie folds. 
Heads up to the turn. Which is a seven. Jamie would have turned a straight. Ah, Jamie. Action goes check, check. River's a king. Ali Reza gets there. Unlucky, Alex. He checks. Ali Reza's definitely going for value. Overbets the pot. 3,200 euros. Plenty out there that beats Alex. He should get away. He does fold. Jack A would be good. Look at that. Jack, eight. Jack eight. Yeah. Correct. Correct. I said not now, Randy. And principally, Queen Jack better than Jack eight in that spot. So Ali Reza couldn't extract any more from the challenger there. Alex is now down over five and a half thousand euros. But a double up would see him edge into profit. Jake has returned to his winning ways for now. But it's still Sam Grafton who's way out in front. Time really is running out for Alex. Remember, he can't get it in pre-flop, but he can pot it. Action on Alex, following Sam's straddle. Jack-10 suited. Pot. Raises the max. Wow, you guys only know one word now. It's like a Cheech and Chong movie. 435. Come on, wake up cards. Ali Reza also has two strawberries. A seven of that flavor. I'm no longer rooting for strawberries. That's a call. Randy folds. Sam's out. Heads up to the flop. Ace eight three, Ali Reza flops top pair. Nothing much for Alex. Action goes check check. And Alex picks up a double belly buster on the turn. Best try he's had in a while. Ali Reza set to lead here. He bet seven hundred. And Jake is off to talk to Maria. This would not be the best spot for Alex to take a stand. But he's taking a stand. He's all in. I guess there's a chance Ali Reza folds. Wow. Bold semi-bluff from Alex. And now Sam's off to talk to Maria as well. The time has come. Given the timing, Ali Reza might have to call. So Sam, you were saying that you think he has it here. Yeah, I assume so. Not, no disrespect to Alex, but like... I think he wants to put the final money in with, 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 with a good hand. And right. like, it's not like Ali's played in a way where it's like, oh, this is a good guy to bluff. Like, yeah. So I don't know what it is exactly, maybe a set of eights. We'll see. I'm excited for it though, because obviously, yeah. as long as he doesn't take my money, I'm, I want the kid to win. I guess Alex has got an image going for him. 200. What do you have? Do I have the cards? <laughs> yeah, the cards. I don't mind if you call, because I've got nothing to lose. Like I call you or no? Please, no. <sighs> it feels bad, but yeah. I think I want you to call. What's your favorite color? My favorite color? Blue? This one. <laughs> that one. Four. Wow! I was on a draw. I needed a, uh, a nine or a king. You? I was better than you. I miss it. <laughs> Good bluff. Good bluff. You, oh, you what? You did. You had Jack Ten. Showed the bluff. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. There we go. Who had Jack? Who had Jack Ten? Alex. Alex, seriously though. Good what, read. What, what's your real favorite color? <laughs> Red. That's all I want. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Sam was just like, yeah, he's got a set of eights, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty bad. The challenger semi bluffs all in and gets it through. 
It was so stressful. I mean, I was literally, my heart was pretty much pounding. The time has come. He played very well, bluffing with nothing, and when he bluffed, he was so relaxed. I don't mind if you call, because I've got nothing to lose. This is a lot of money to me, so I was trying to use that to my advantage and, you know, try and, like, push him off the pot. That's a pretty dangerous man to try and bluff. So I give Alex a lot of credit. Like I call you or no? It feels bad, but yeah. I was playing probably too loose, to be honest. But, you know, I was just trying to, like, get it in and just hope for the best. Good bluff. Alex, don't do that ever again. Also, let's not break out the champagne just yet. He's still down. Nearly four and a half thousand euros. And 131. Jamie first to act. He faults. Ali reses out. Randy's on the button with 8-6 offsuit. Everybody playing really wide just in case they can get lucky against Alex. That's a raise to 200. Sam folds. Alex is in the big blind with ace, king of spades. Time for a little pottage in the cottage. Pop. Re-raises the maximum, 785 euros. Hold it back around to Randy. 785. You didn't stick in 200 on the button to fold now. He calls in position. And we go heads up to the flop. I'm going to double him up for you guys. Yeah. Please do. An amazing flop for the challenger, Trip Aces. Play it cool, Alex. Play it cool. All in. Uh, I'll give a bit excessive. <laughs> there we go. Don't show me seven dudes. I deuce. actually had it this time. Not seven uh, dudes, thank gosh. You win. Listen. Praise be to gosh. Little by little. He was down four and a half. Now he's down three and a half thousand euros. Can I add on 5k? Jamie's topping up. Yeah, you 5K. Okay. Thanks. More ammo for the final shootout. And there is the target. Do you think you could hold your nerve at the cash tables? Games run 24-7 at PokerStars.com. It's crunch time for challenger Alex Curry on the PokerStars Championship Cash Challenge. The time has come. And with only a few hands left to play, the Sharks are starting to circle. Alex is like a time bomb right now. He needs to make something happen. Obviously he needs to make profit over 12 and a half K to make any money, so he's in every pot, he's raising a lot, he's free betting a lot. Pop, pull in. Changed the dynamic between the other players as well because we started to play more hands because there was an opportunity of Alex getting in that little bit lighter. I know he's going to be playing a lot of pots, so I'm going to try and play every single pot with him. I'm going to double him up for you guys. I'm adding on $5,000 because Alex is getting down to the wire. He needs to play very aggressively. I know I want to make sure that I have a bunch of chips on the table to be able to grab a piece of that money if he decides to get it in with a weekend. All the guys at the table want to bust me. It's going to be extremely tough, but I do have a game plan, so we'll see how it goes. Alex's game plan, step one, raise. Step two, question mark. Step three, profit. Well, there are now fewer than 20 hands left to play, and it looks like Randy's adding to his stack. Holy, are those real? I think that's five. Let me check. Yes, Joe, those are very real. Confirmation that Jamie also added 5,000 euros to his stack. Both want to cover the challenger for when he eventually gets it in. 
I feel bad for you. This is the part of the night where you've got a little target on your back now. You know, we love you, but now it's like, you basically have to put this 8K Any, in. Yeah. And like, now we're all just like, this is where we get very pro-y. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> like, look at your stack and just like, the nicest guy in poker still reached for the 5K ship to make sure I don't sure blame you guys. I mean, I want the money. I want the money, man. This is just how it is. If I, if I can't have it, you know, one of you guys better take it. No. Yeah, I mean, there's no I, uh, point in being on the table, is there? I want <laughs> you to double up. <laughs> yeah, it dies, yeah, it's dead. It's no money if it's not it on the is, table. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Not, you just hope for a runner runner on the last hand, <laughs> I guess, right? It's scary for Alex, but it's also better for him. The more money that's on the table, the more he can win. Well, it's been folded round to our challenger, and he's got queens. My favorite word, pot. Here we go. Whatever happens, Alex, it's been fun, man. It has been great fun. And, you know, it's something that you'll, I'll remember for, like, forever, really. If you're lucky, Joe might remember it for a whole day. What? <laughs> seven deuce, that'd be great. No! Oh, show, seven show seven deuce, deuce show seven deuce. Oh my queens? god! Come oh. on, guys. You had two queens? <laughs> yeah! No way! That's pretty oh, sick. Did we just say that as well? Oh, man. I was like, scripted. If I get too. That's by the so way, I'm brutal. Getting... <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Oh, my god. <laughs> Ali just folded his. That's the quickest I've ever seen him fold his big bag. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be frustrated not getting action there, but I guess it beats losing. Getting one red cent out of these pros is not going to come without some stress. And 135. Action is on Alex. He's got 7-6 off. He raises to 200. Next will be you should maybe blind raise from there anyway. Like maybe yeah. that, that might be quite good. Like in the, anyway, But what if know. he wants to change the size of the pot? Such a blind pot. It. You're sick, Randy. You're sick. Everyone's coming along for the ride. Note that Jake just called with Ace King. Yeah, make no mistake, all this just calling, not friendly, it's the sharks circling. Sam calls with Queen three, four way to this flop. Trips for Sam. Total whiff for Alex. Ali well, Reza checks. Sam checks. Alex checks. Jake Cody's not going to be able to help himself. You can always rely on Jake to put money in the pot. He bets 350 euros. You can often rely on him to take money out of the pot as well. Not this time. Seven. Sam raises to 700. Alex gets out of the way. Jake calls with ace-king high, heads up to the turn. Obviously doesn't know what bad shape he's in. The turn card is a queen. Sam now has an unbeatable full house. 2,300 in the middle. Sam bets just over a grand. Now, if Sam were bluffing, this is the way he would play it. Jake calls. Getting stickier than a snow cone in August. Well, fortunately for Jake, he doesn't improve on the river. So he probably won't be calling again, but... And there's the polarizing overbet from Sam. A quick fold from Jake. Look how happy Sam's trying not to look. Sick bluffs at the end of a match. <laughs> Where are you bluffing? I mean, have some bluffs. You have some bluffs. <laughs> have some bluffs. That's what people like to say. I'm balanced there. <laughs> he had few bluffs. I don't want to see mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sam is now in profit to the tune of 24,000 euros. Must be nice. On to the next hand. I put that so badly. Uh, yeah, you definitely did, Jake, but I'm going to do you a solid and play this hand with you as a little favor, and maybe we can win some of that money back. What do you say? All right. So we're going to sweat with Jake and only see his cards. Ace 10 off, and he is raised to 300 euros. Round to Randy. Who folds? I'm doing a great job so far. Sam calls out of the big blind. Alex folds. Yeah. 
Good. Uh, Punish would... these guys having all their junk and then. Got em. Punish them. <laughs> Not position to Jake Cody again. This is how I spend my life. <laughs> well, Jake has flopped second pair with a couple of backdoor draws. We have flopped second pair with a couple of backdoor draws. I think a check or a bet here is fine. We've got kind of an awkward hand. Goes check, check. Eight on the turn. Say goodbye to the back doors. And looks like Sam will take over the betting lead on the turn. 1,250 euros. In a way, we're kind of asking for a bet here. Yes, Sam could have his beat, but when we check the flop, we also let him bet all of his draws. And there are more draws here than the 94 Man City team. Set a record that year, looked it up, 18 draws. Well, Jake is called. The river card, three of diamonds. Well, the flop flush draw got there. Sam leading for 800, small bet. Yeah, really small relative to the size of the pot. Therefore, to me, it seems fishier than a chip shop freezer. Here's where Jake and I are gonna differ a little bit. I'm gonna call here and probably light 800 on fire or fold and waste the entire pot. My guess is Jake is thinking about a third option. He's got the ace of diamonds blocker, so he knows that Sam cannot have the nut flush. Yeah, it's so sick because I only lose that <coughs> ace nine of diamonds. And I, I just, I, I mean, I have to call with this hand. Jake turns his hand into a bluff, but Sam calls. No, sorry. And tables the winner. Yep, Jake tried to rep the nut flush with the ace of diamonds, but Sam's flush was just too strong. You know, he said sorry, but he doesn't look sorry. More chips for Mr. Grafton. Sam is now showing a profit of more than 31,000 euros while literally everyone else at the table is down on the session. Alex is down more than three and a half K and needs to book a big win soon. Just 14 hands left to play. Alex, homie, time to get a move on. Jake has straddled. Action will be on Jamie. He folds. Ali Rez is out. Randy not playing his button. These must be some really bad hands. Sam calls. Alex is in. Check. Jake checks his option. Three way to the flop. That flop. 10 5 deuce. Top pair for Alex. Open ended straight draw for Jake. Get the popcorn. Alex betting with the best hand, 300 euros. Jake calls with his draw, Sam folds, heads up to the turn. And that's the wheel for Jake, Alex is drawing dead. Bad card for Alex, but at least it also looks like a bad card. He slows down, he checks. The awful part for Alex here is that Jake would bluff at this card a lot anyway, so Alex can't really fold, especially with so few hands to go. 625 euros. Alex calls. We're going to the river. Which is a 10. Oh, no. Alex thinks that's a good card. He's improved to trips, but he's still losing to Jake straight. This is going to be a shame. All in. He shoves! Cool. Jake calls and stacks our challenger. The dream is dead. Oh, man. Bro. Well, he was nice playing with you all. But Bro. Nice playing with you. Hey, come, here. come here, come here, come here. My brother. Ah. Unlucky dead, man. No, he's Unlucky. good. What's well played. Just good playing with Alex. River. I know. Nice playing with you, Alex. Nice. Good game, man. It's been great. Really unlucky. Nice. nice. Good good nice to meet you. And you. Good game. Good luck to you. Well, at least it happened on hand 137 instead of hand 7. Thanks a lot, Jake.
Before you leave, Alex, we still wanted to give you this because you were a really tough challenger. You put up an amazing fight against some really tough players. Yeah. You definitely held your own. So thanks for being here and thanks for playing. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate the game. Good game. Great game. Goodbye, Adam. I'll never forget you. I think you mean Alex. He may not have ended with a profit, but he'll be leaving Monte Carlo with some fond memories. Let's play some poker. Not the best result, but we left with a trophy, which is excellent. And what a fantastic time I've had here in Monte Carlo. Lovely sunny day, got the shades on. Look at all the supercars, it's crazy. What's your one line of advice you give to me for today? Ship it all in. Pulling off some bluffs against the likes of Jake Cody is incredible. Keep it friendly, I'll show. I'll show it if you fold. We've got a new upcomer from the UK now, huh? Oh, man. So comfortable, too, in the speech. It was great. Super comfortable. Didn't think I was going to get him through against these sort of players, but, you know, glad I did. What's your real favorite color? <laughs> Coming here and playing a game like this, I just don't know how I can go back to playing such a small game in my local casino. From the Rico Casino in Coventry to Monte Carlo. That's the one, yeah. I'm going to want to come back to another one of these events and, you know, maybe sometime in the future it can happen. The PokerStars Championship Cash Challenge has lost its challenger. Oh, man. Bro. Come here, come here, come here. My brother. Ah, I'm lucky there, man. But Alex Curry can hold his head up high after playing a great game against some formidable foes. Meeting Alex was really, really cool. How are you doing? I'm all right. Yeah. He's such an awesome guy and, and really friendly at the table, super comfortable playing as well, so I was pretty proud to see that. I think he has a very good future for the poker. He needs more experience, but I can feel it. he be a very good player. I was super impressed by Alex the whole time. I really would have liked to see him do well and win money. All in. Cool. But obviously, I want to win the money myself. Wow, it was nice playing with you all. I'm very ruthless. I like will go after every spot against friends, enemies, anyone. Even my grandma. She would be going down. <laughs> Expect all the remaining players to take no prisoners and up the aggression as they try to make as much money as possible in the last few hands of the session. Think of this as last call at the bar, and their hands are the last few people there. Folks are going to start lowering their standards a little bit. Fewer than 10 hands left to play, and right now, everyone is straddling. King seven for Jake, that goes in the muck. Jamie folds queen six. Ali raises out. Well, boom, some Randy Lou action. <laughs> God, this is really situation. <laughs> yes. Some bloated pot. <laughs> There's already like some ridiculous amount of money out there. Randy's got aces. Oh yeah, that's a really beepy situation. Is this right? I don't know whether you're supposed to raise at all here. This seems like such a bad strat. I'm only going to assume that you've got a good hand because this can't be good. He does have a good hand. Sam has a decent hand. King Jack suited. Yeah, the poker guys are going to have some fun here in the last act, it seems. Randy's made it 325. Race. Sam makes it 1,000. And I think since Sam called out Randy for having a good hand, Randy's got a pretty good idea that Sam's got a hand here as well. Raise from Randy a four bet to 2,200. At this point, Sam's going to want to just see a flop. Calls in position. Only four and a half K in the middle. And this flop is all Randy. Top set. Sam can only win with running diamonds or a running straight. Randy checks. Sam checks behind. The turn card is a 10. Sam picks up a gut shot straight draw. And 
here comes a delayed continuation bet from Randy. Yeah, when you flop a set of aces, it's really hard for your opponent to have a piece. Well, he's made it really small, 900 euros. For a while, Sam was the only winner at the table. Now he's the only one up more than a couple of hundred. Sam calls. The river is an eight, so Randy has a lock on this. And the action goes check, check. Nice end. Pretty good. A good one to raise. Yeah. I, I felt like you had a really... Well, yeah, it makes sense to have a strong end. Pretty annoying. Yeah, it is pretty annoying that you have all of the money. At least Randy has some of it now. Who gets aces now? Who just looked down and gets aces? I was surprised. That's a real hand. Only premium. <laughs> So Randy's aces win him a decent sized pot from Sam, who is now only up 26 grand. One other player at the table is in profit, that player being Jake Cody, and he's only up 340 euros. Everyone else stuck big time. Sam has straddled. <laughs> Jake has folded. Queen eight of spades for Jamie. He raises the button, makes it 300 euros. Get a little loosey goosey in the cash challenge, Twilight. Round to Sam. He has ace four of spades. He calls. He's to go to the flop. Oh, hello. Jamie flops top pair in a flush draw. Sam has the nut flush draw. It goes check, check. Thinks he can play it a little slow. Oh, sick cooler. This is really bad for Jamie. He is going to get cut worse than whatever it is that's going on with his hair. Sam bets 1,075 euros. Accentuate the positive, Joe. Jamie is not dead. He does have a redraw to a straight flush, but he would need to see the jack of spades on the river. I think he'll have the wherewithal to not raise, at least. I gave him that hair withal. Something, I'm not sure. He calls. The river card, the inconsequential six of diamonds. Time for Sam to take it to Value Town, which is ironically probably the name of the place where Jamie got that haircut. At least Jamie washes his hair. Fair. 3,500. It's a big over bet. It's a watermelon bet. <laughs> There's pretty much only one way this can go. Cool. Sausage for staples. Got the nuts. Nice. That's pretty sick. If only Jamie hadn't added on that extra 5K, he'd be felted, but he'd have lost less. Nice hand, Sam. I'll give you yeah, no, 100. I, I like it. I like it. Generally feels awkward about it. All right, guys, it is the last hand of the night. I cannot be responsible for any bloodshed that's about to happen. <laughs> Jake Cody with the button. That last hand of the day. We would have had so much action, though, if Alex was still in the game, right? Uh, the last oh, yeah. 15 hands? That would have yeah. been fun. I, it would have just been like, it would have been good if he got it in with a sweat. That's all. Yeah, like, yeah. It's just like, like Jake, just, Jake just insta calling him on the yeah. river. Sort of like, At least have like two pair and he's got like one yeah, pair yeah, and then maybe a yeah, two. Yeah, 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 for sure I get two pairs. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Final hand of the cash challenge. That's fun, boys. Lock up the win on his <laughs> yes. hand. Nice. I, I just folded like King Queen suited under the gun, so this King, Queen, <laughs> King of Spades, Queen of Spades is dead. Jake Cody's got aces. This is just stupid. <laughs> I, I knew Jake was going to play this pot. Yeah, Jake, I mean, Jake is bad. I but I mean, like, even though I don't, I know he's going to raise, I'm in the worst spot. I, I was in 50 profit, by the way, before this hand. Oh, wow. You were in 50 profit before this hand? Wow. I kind of want to ruin that dream. Yeah, oh, mate, you've got a three bet now. I'm giving the losing session. <laughs> All right. I can't have a losing session. If I lose the pot, I have a losing session. If I lose the pot. Oh, my gosh. Oh my. Oh, let, let, me, let me check my stack first. <laughs> Poor Randy's gonna feel obligated to play this pot, but no. Was it 250? 
please, I wasn't going to fold any list. <laughs> <laughs> Final flop of the day. Randy whiffs. Yeah, we were all looking for some shenanigans here, but also, no. Jake is a 95% favorite. He continues for 425 euros. Uh, I really want to do something stupid. <laughs> My hand is just doesn't connect. Oh, God. Thank you, Stan. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. No way. <laughs> oh, Jake, you're so lucky. Like, on. <laughs> Let's go. If I had, wow. like, something, you know, you, you wow. would have saw, saw a check raise and everything. I know. <laughs> I was like, pretty good time to pick it up. Guys, pleasure. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah super, cool. super cool. That's it, guys. Jake, I'm sorry you didn't get more action, but uh, I guess Randy didn't want to go home uh, stacked. <laughs> so, Sam, looks yeah. like you are our big winner of the night. Oh, wow. Everybody oh, wow. Uh, drinks yeah, no, on cool. Sam after this. Not you anymore, Jake. <laughs> Not me anymore, You're off yeah. the hook. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Thank you guys for playing. Great game. Thank you, Marie. Thank you. Okay, bye. That is it. Unfortunately, challenger Alex Curry doesn't take any money from the game. Neither does his poker idol Jamie Staples, who finishes the session with an 11K loss. Both Jake and Randy manage to creep into profit, but the biggest winner in the game is Sam Grafton. He walks away up 31,000 euros. And that's it from the Cash Challenge. Thank you very much for joining us. From Joe Stapleton and me, James Hartigan, it's good night from Monte Carlo. The lineup was incredible. I want to play that cash game every day. You want to play the Jake Cody game? <laughs> Such an amazing group of people to play with. I had so much fun out there. Oh my god. The monster, Can huh? I shake your hand? Alex was an absolute sweetheart from start to finish. <laughs> Is that how you feel? Challenger. I, I feel very challenged. <laughs> you can be very, very proud of the performance he put in. God. It's actually refreshing to get to play live and, you know, get to chat it up and uh, play some cards. Can anyone loan Randy Lou some money? <laughs> you haven't even made the first commercial break of episode four. <laughs> it's absolutely debacle. The Cash Challenge is actually the first time I've ever played a televised cash game. And I loved it. And there were such great people, so it was really good. Fish without eye. <laughs> I lost in cash game. It's normal for me. <laughs> But I enjoy a lot and have fun. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jake told me that he did have a good hand almost all the time. I've got a very strong hand. Oh. Probably the only reason he won 400 euros in the game. He said how good I run, but he ran by far the best out of anyone. You know when your expectations are here, and now, all of a sudden, to win like six or seven buy-ins is obviously above expectation. Made some new friends who I'm sure I'll stay in touch with. And yeah, it was a fantastic day of poker.